hello everybody i don't know what this lighting is going to be like on the background so it's going to be like so we're just going to roll with it but yeah you're also going to have to ignore how pale i look today i don't know why i do have tan on but i think it's just starting to fade and i'm sitting in front of like a big window so it makes me look even more pale than what i am so I'm just going to ignore that. But hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. Today is a very exciting video. As you can tell, the shops are open and I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I literally missed shopping so much. But before we get into today's video, don't forget to go down and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Join my little family, put a little bell notification thing on, whatever. But yeah, let's just get in to the pre-mark haul because that's what you all want to see, let's be honest. Okay, so I'm not going to lie, I was looking on TikTok and everything before all the shops opened and all the workers also got like first choice and they all showed some amazing bits of pre-mark had in. And I went in and I don't know what pre-mark they were at, but they literally had hardly anything in my pre-mark. I was quite disappointed, but they had loads of good accessories and stuff. But in terms of clothes, there was literally hardly anything. Like you'll see, I hardly got any clothes. It's more like, you know, like wee bits. So the first things I'll show you is the clothes bits because, as I said, I didn't really get much. But I actually went to two different pre-marks. I went to one today, um, to my local one. And then I also went to the Trafford Centre one, which is like quite a big one, to be honest. Um, and that was the one where I was like, Where's all the clothes? Like, they had loads of good accessories, but in terms of clothes, they actually had nothing. First thing I got was from my local Primark, and it's just these leggings. Don't know how well you can see on camera, but yeah, they're like a really nice lilac colour. They are just so nice, and they're those kind of seamless ones that Primark do, like that range they sell. Um, I got mine in the size large. I haven't tried any of these on yet, but I think this is actually going to be quite a good size on me. These leggings say that they're like made from recyclable material or something as well. It's obviously good for the environment and that. The only thing I'm not too keen on is this wee bit here. If you can see. They've got like holes on it. But it kind of just like, it's got rips down it. And I feel like maybe if you got a size that was too small for you, like the rips would just get bigger and bigger. And then the thing I love about these leggings is that they are super high waisted as you can tell. They've got such a nice big waistband. And you can kind of see the colour a bit better now so it's a really nice purple lilac colour and they also had a matching sports bra but I kind of thought of wearing these see even as like every day with like um an oversized white t-shirt or like a really nice white jumper or hoodie something like that I feel like it would look really nice for spring slash summer time and this was £10. Next thing I got was just this really plain white bodysuit and I just really like this material of this. It's kind of like a slinky material but it just feels like really comfy and to be honest I don't have many like plain basic white tops or black tops you know and just plain tops because they actually go with anything. Um, so I decided to pick one of these up and it's quite like high rise and it's kind of like a tank top kind of style. And then, as I said, it's a body set and it's got the little poppers at the bottom. Yeah, they do. How we poppers at the bottom. The only thing I don't like about it is it doesn't have a thong back. It kind of just sits like that, which is a bit annoying. But if you're wearing a pair of jeans and stuff, I suppose it doesn't matter. And I also got this in a size large, um, which was also £6. Next thing I got was just this another plain white top. But this is actually the pyjama section. Let me show you so this is it here. It's a really nice ribbed cropped um, white top but this is in the pyjama section and I've heard it was people saying that they actually wear these as a top because it is like double layered so it's like you're protected and you don't have to wear a bra if you don't want to. Personally I could not go out with this but if you had like small boobs and you'd be fine because it's double layered so you're your nipples would be okay but I thought even if this is like too short on me or I don't like it I can just use it as a pyjama top. And then the straps are actually adjustable as well, which I think is so good, considering only paying three pounds for it. Next thing I got were just these pyjama bottoms, and these are so soft. And they're just these big comfy shorts, and these have stars on them, and they're a nice grey colour. Um, and they have a drawstring, which is perfect, because I hate when shorts don't have drawstrings. It really does my head in. But yeah, they're just really comfy for like around the house and they're fleecy in the inside as well, which is good. And yeah, I thought if I didn't wear this top out, this top would go really nicely with the wee pyjama bottoms. And these pyjama bottoms were only £4 and they're too so comfy, I can't wait to wear them. They're so soft. 
put a little makeup on them already. The last clothing bit I got were just these baby blue shorts. These look really like wide and I literally would not wear these out of the house. They're probably for about chilling around the house, you know, that kind of vibe. Um, yeah, this is only two fifty, but they're really strange material. I don't know how well you can see, but it's like a tea towel material. It's a bit, it's a bit strange, but but me just chilling around the house. They might not be the comfiest, but they were only two pounds. Did you see that? <laughs> but yeah, they were only two pounds fifty. I think first I'm gonna go in to like um, bag socks, then jewelry, and then makeup bits maybe. We'll do that. So first thing I got was I actually got this today and I just think this is adorable. So one minute until I actually undo all this. So it's this blue bag and I just absolutely love the colour of it. Yeah. I just love the colour of this. It's such a nice baby blue. It actually matches my top quite well. But it's this little shoulder bag. Well, it can't be a shoulder bag. So it can't like sit like that. Or you can have it like cross body and just adjust that strap. But this is, I'm, but I'm guessing this is meant to be like a Prada dupe because it has a wee coin purse fit and it has also like the main compartment and then it's got a wee side pocket here. I was just drawn by the colour of this. I think it's so adorable. I just love the blue. I'm a sucker for blue at the minute. As you can tell, I love a good blue colour. Next, I have a few socks I got. So I got these Kappa socks and Jordan Lips can always raise about these. And I did have some before but I always lose my socks I feel like everyone does but yeah they're just these ones I've got like a white a grey and a black and I just love wearing these with like air forces because I do have like Nike socks but Nike socks are so expensive these are three for three pounds fifty that's like a pound a, is that like a pound twenty no a pound seventeen no why am I getting so like one pound like <laughs> So it's basically like 1.17p a sock. See that quick maths? It wasn't really quick, but <laughs> yeah, so I got those socks, that's what I was trying to say. And then I got these wee cute socks. I think these are adorable. Oh look, they're wee flames. And then you just get these like striped plain pink ones. And this is 250 for two pairs, which is also a steal. And then in terms of accessories, I got two pairs of sunglasses. I just love Primark sunglasses because I would just never buy an expensive pair because I just know I would break them. So Primark is my best bet really. So first pair I got are these ones. Don't know how well you can see but they're like, I think they're like a crocodile kind of like leopard print style. And I just think they're really nice. I love the design of them and the colour. I feel like they could just go with so many different outfits. And I do really like the shape of them. I don't own any of this kind of shape. But yeah, they make me look pretty bougie so I'm not mad at it. And then the next pair I have are these white ones. Let me show you. Oh how nice are they. I love the tinted black lens as well against the white. I just think it's so nice. Like just plain white but I love the shape of them as well because they're kind of like a cat eye shape. They are a bit big on me but I don't care. I see with an all white outfit or like a cream outfit. I just think this would look so nice. And both of these glasses were only two pounds, which is pretty good. So the next accessory kind of thing are these gold gemmed hoops. And I just think these are really nice. See, for like a night out, I just love wearing kind of like a statement hoops, but they aren't huge. Like I don't love wearing a big hoop that's like heavy on my ear. So I feel like Primark earrings are good for like night out and stuff. So it doesn't matter if you lose them, especially if you're like me. And then you wake up in the morning and you've one earring in. So yeah, it doesn't matter if you lose them really. Like these ones were only £1.50. Next thing that's kind of accessory related, kind of, it's a bit random, but it's this racer back converter clip and it's for your bra. And I just thought this was a really good idea. So say if you're wearing a top that you can see your bra strap, like the back of the top, you basically use this converter and it makes your bra like that if you can see yeah so and it makes your bra like that so your bra isn't on show if you have like a revealing back top if you know what i mean so i just thought that was quite interesting it was only two pounds so i was like i might as well try it and then you get three the next thing i got were just the remover pads and i use these a lot at home and it just saved me from buying wipes all the time these are always so soft as well i've got to get them out actually they're literally so soft like, i actually love feeling of them and to be honest, most times I'll literally just soak it and then it just takes your makeup off completely. Like, you don't even need to use a face wash or anything. It would literally just take it off. It just melts off. It's so, 
It's so strange how it works. And whilst we were talking about cleansing and cotton pads, obviously I need to pick up Cream Mars cotton pads because they're literally the OG cotton pads. 90p for 100 and they're not even small ones, they're oval ones. And then I also just picked up a wee water ball because I just I just love water balls. It just motivates me to drink more water, more juice, literally anything. So I just picked up one. I just like this wee grey one. And I love the ones that have a wee straw because it makes it a bit more fun than just like chugging it. You know what I mean? So it's just this grey one, grey and clear one. And it was £2.50. Now I'm just going to go on to the last section of bits that I have, which is kind of like makeup related stuff. So I got a few packets of eyelashes. I actually really like Primark lashes, especially the GWA ones. And Primark own ones are pretty good as well. So the first ones I got to try were the Edge of Flutter. And they basically just go on the end of your eyelashes. Basically just make them lift and curl at the end, which I think is quite a genius idea. And then I also got these ones, which are like a similar concept. So they're thicker at the end and then they're thinner towards like the centre of your eye. So I'm excited to try them because they'll probably make your eyelashes look really natural instead of just wearing like big false lashes, you know what I mean? So if you had a natural makeup look, you could just chuck them on and then they're easily applying. They probably won't fall off because it's not like they're heavy or anything. Like they'll be quite light. And then in terms of natural lashes, I just picked up these. They're 30 individual lashes and then I just got the long ones because... I thought even just for everyday makeup, just stick like one or two of these at the end of your eye and then that's you sorted. Like you wouldn't need to worry about keep applying mascara and keep curling my lashes. Like that's what I always have to do. And like, surely that's not good for my lashes curling them like three times a day. So I'll let you know how these go. Next thing I got were these nails and how amazing are these nails. So they're kind of like an oval shaped fake nail. They're so cool. I can't wait to wear them. I'm a bit weird about like stick on nails because they always just, like fling off but I'm gonna try them they were at two two pounds and you get 24 in them so then I just got some wee sponges to be honest I probably should have got like the real techniques ones but I just hate spending loads of money on them because to be honest they don't really last that long so I thought I'd try the pre-mark ones out just to see how they go because I know some of the cheap ones can be a bit shit but I didn't want to spend loads of money on one. So instead of spending loads of money on one, I got two for £1.50. Next kind of beauty related thing is this Harmony Hydrating Priming Spray. And I have used these Primark sprays quite a few times. And I do really like them. I don't think they have like that much effect. But I just love spraying my makeup after I do like a full face of makeup. For like, just to let all your makeup like sit in and like kind of refresh your face a bit. I'm just going to give it a wee taste. I'm just like doing a wee taste test. I'm just gonna try it out and see how it goes. Mm. Mm, my god. That literally drenches your face. I don't know if you've seen that. So much comes out. Like you probably only need like one, two. My face. Can you see that? It's literally drenched. It smells really nice. It says it's peach and pink agave fragrance and then the last two bits i got were just makeup related so i got this coconut lip balm and you just can't go wrong for lip balm i always need one mm. it smells really nice really hydrating i need to be fast and get this last bit done with because my battery is running low so the last thing i got was this three in one brow pencil and i just got this in a dark brown i think it says it's a pencil a powder and a colored gel so I was like really impressed about this and it just sounds so good. Okay, so the brow pencil is very thick, which I never really liked to be honest. But, and then the powder. So you've got like a wee sponge. So you've got a wee sponge here. And then the powder must be in the wee hole. <gasps> actually went flying. And then the last bit. Oh, look at it. It's a wee small, like, look at it. It's a wee small brow gel. I love that and I can't wait to use it. <gasps> this is so exciting. So yeah, that's everything I got from Freemark. I really hope you enjoyed watching today's video. And if you're excited to see more hauls, hit the thumbs up button and I'll make sure to do more. But yeah, if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe down below if you haven't already. So yeah, I'll see you next time for a brand new video.